Okay, we are streaming. We are not. No, we are. For real. I, I don't believe you because you've been saying that now for like 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, we've been live for 20 minutes, but not. So, so you're just you're, looking you're, at my hand, people. Um, yeah, no, we're live because it just said I'm live. Yeah. You're actually, you're asking me to believe that that is the case. Well, I'm not asking you to believe it. You don't have to. You know what I mean? Uh, and people right, are going to okay. be, but yeah, no, we are, we are live. Yeah. You're a hundred percent certain. hundred percent. We have people here chatting for quite a while. Holy cow. Yeah, they're probably pissed off that we're late. I don't blame them. Um, we're going to blame John. No, we are not going to blame John. Yes, we're going to blame blaming. your, we're going to blame your archaic equipment. Ooh, we're blaming John. Just because you we got to demo a Commodore 64 doesn't mean you get to run your show on one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, guys, I just have to step away for a minute. John will talk to you about this elephant in the room uh, a little bit. Yeah. And uh, there's blue. There's blue. So just give me a moment. I'm sorry. John will explain what's going on in my household right now. It's. Uh... <laughs> yes, I will. I will. There was a... Uh, uh, he is, he's right. If, if any of you guys are, are fathers and husbands, you'll understand the pain of this one. Um, Paul is running the household all by himself with a house full of daughters and a dog and, and having to do all this by himself. So at this point in time, we are, we're watching the collapse of the Paul civilization, which is really cool. So, but to answer the question, yeah, I know, I know. Well, it's funny because we were actually supposed to be up and running just a little while ago, and because he wanted to hook up his nifty overhead camera there for this, it um, stalled us just, just, just like you know, half a friggin' hour. But don't worry, because that just means it cost me my gameplay tonight. But we'll pick that up tomorrow, so don't worry about it. However, what he's got there is the same thing I've got here and this is something we wanted to do a dual opening on this because uh gamestop was running these on sale and they looked really really cool paul likes it because of what it is i like it because of what i'm going to make it become so those of you guys who know me probably know exactly what we're talking about here so welcome aboard there real truth and lloyd i have no idea what was going on dude i kept trying to jump you into the call because paul's camera or his, his mic was just jacked. And as it turns out, it was just an unplug and replug kind of thing. So that was nice. Of course, he figured it out 30 minutes later. Nice teching, Paul. So, uh, let's see here. Yeah, Jeff, he um, he decided that he was going to... Well, he didn't decide it. His wife, I think, went to Ontario or something like that and kind of left him holding the bag, as it were. So we may see a little bit of interruption throughout this of his daughters or his dog coming in there to uh, uh, make their presence known. But, uh, you know, hey, we all got kids and families, and we know how that is. So, But uh, let's see here. Got to sharpen your typing skills. Uh, game over before he even started. Yeah, you're probably right. It probably was. But so, yeah. This is the uh, the at games game system from um, uh, GameStop, and they are normally these things are pretty damn expensive, but they had them on sale. So Paul had me grab a couple of them and ship him one. Otherwise, we would have probably done this last week. By the way, what do you guys think of the Commodore video? That thing is sick, guys, and I uh, I've got another motherboard coming for it. Hopefully by next week, I'm gonna have it sitting right here on the desk. And as part of the podcast permanently, I'm actually going to have this monitor monitoring the podcast from that machine. And guys, it feels awesome. Those cherry switches in it. And I really want to see that guy succeed. So if you didn't watch that video, jump on that video, send that guy some love that uh, that's running that my retro computer. It's one dude, one dude who has a majority of his life savings invested in this Kickstarter. So show the guy a little love and hopefully we'll see this go a long way. He's working on a 24-inch Commodore monitor to go with it. And I told him, as soon as that thing comes out, I want to put it right here. I want to have it on my desk so that everybody will see it every single podcast. That's going to be cool. So, yeah, I appreciate that. And uh, let him know that you guys talked to us because I think he's going to send one of those to Paul. Um, and you guys know Paul will try to show me up and, of course, come up short. But, oh, wait, 
Did I say that? Oh, you know. He'll do his best. He'll do his best. It's Paul. You know, we'll give him the, what, what, what is that? The, the, the runner-up prize. That, that's all right. That's all right. But, uh, yes, Data, it is a hot swap. And the cool thing about this is, and something I've been considering, the motherboard that goes in that thing literally bolts straight in. And since you're dealing with a micro ATX, there isn't really jack for cabling, just a few minor plugs around the edges. The board I've got coming in actually eliminates that Pico power adapter too, which, by the way, could not have been a millimeter higher and able to get that case closed. So if you do want to build one of these, let me know because I'm going to spec out a few different power supplies. And those little Pico things, they can get kind of high depending on what the wattage is on them. But what I want to do is I want to develop some sort of a custom cooling system for it that's going to use water cooling. The problem is I can't lay the cooler sideways because you got no airflow. So I'm going to have to come up with some kind of a specialized cooling system that rotates that's that thick and that I can pull air across. And I know what I want to do, but it's going to be a little challenging. So we'll see how it is. But uh, uh, yes, Jeff, and that's something else. Once the Kickstarter kicks in, I told him that we wanted that I had a lot of people that really wanted to be a part of this process. So if you guys want to drop an email to him, feel free to. Let him know you saw it on the show. You loved it. You want to get involved. And then hopefully he'll be able to work you in. His name is Sean, by the way. Super cool dude. Really, really thick British accent. Very fun to talk to. So, yeah, I know, yeah, Jeff, and I would love that also. Yeah, in fact, he's going to be selling multiple different variations. Oh. So he's going to have the bare bones version, but he's also going to offer uh, the Ryzen versions that are, uh, you know, a kit version and a pre a complete built uh, Ryzen 9. And I'm pretty sure that Paul and I are going to, through process of elimination, come up with about a million other variants to it so that uh, you can get into it for whatever price range you happen to be in. So, but did you make it back there, Paul? I'm here. Yeah, I bet you are. I am. So, uh, so tell us about this at games garbage you made us maybe buy for us. Oh, uh, so guys, this uh, I don't know if you heard of the at games legends big arcade. Well, apparently they made the Legends Gamer Mini, and I heard that rumor. Yeah, it's a rumor, but it's not a rumor because it's right here. And what what's happening? And I'm sorry that we're doing a down cam. Uh, my front cam and my down cam are not being very friendly with each other today. I had I, everything I working. Yeah. Look, there's my hands. Oh, there's his hands. Little weirdo. Um, anyway, the uh, I gotta go higher. Here is for us to do a live unboxing for both of us because we have both bought the same thing ish um and this is supposed to be the mini version of the camera or the camera <laughs> i got camera on the brain right now this is supposed to be the mini whoops i shouldn't put that out in the way hey. this is supposed to be the mini version of the big arcade not 100 percent that that's true but uh, oh wow look, my whole entire address right there for everybody there it is that's his address send him dirty things send me dirty things damn it it doesn't want to go away hey look here's my phone you guys want to call me uh, well one of my phones i have three of them so, all right all right the bottom line is we're going to unbox these today we're going to unbox and talk about them guys i don't think people got the idea of a giveaway this time so I'm pushing it to next episode because of that. And Paul, admittedly, some of that's my fault. Oh, let me tell you. Okay, here's why. Um, the for some, I, I had done the process on last week's podcast, but I did not. Don't you open that? But I did not post it until today because I forgot I left it in private. So that's so we were running a little late. So let's give them another week. By the way, you see Paul's little cheesy knife. This is a man's knife. See, a man's knife opens like that. That's how a man's knife opens. No, mine opens like this. And I call no. them blue. See, and mine does this. Mine open, And this is the way knives are supposed to open. I <laughs> See that? Did you see that? 
Yeah, that's pretty fast. Yeah, thanks. Look. <laughs> wow. Sound like you just cut your box. Yeah. I'm gonna All right. Let's see what we got here. Let's let's crack all it. All right, I'm I'm get cracking. We have all been jonesing to see what this is like. By the way, guys, we did not, neither one of us, open this box before right now. We wanted to do it at the same time for you guys. Yeah, we don't even know if there's a box inside the box yet. We have no uh, bloody idea what we're about to he see is here. Absolutely correct. All right, you ready? There's no box in the box. No box in the box. No box in the box. Here we go. Oh, that circle thing is in this. It is in there. What the hell is that? I don't know. We're going to have to... Well, first, you know what? Ooh. I'm going to talk about this instruction manual. The I've instructions. A, I see it. These, okay, guys. You know what I see? I see ma... I did. Okay, Jeez, sorry. Ma, 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 ma. Everybody Ooh. out there that knows me sees mod as well. Yeah, I this guarantee. camera zooms, just in case you guys are wondering. The overhead camera zooms. It's actually yeah. a, a so, camcorder. So See, look how that's zooming. Look at that. Is that not an amazing camera? Look it's at that. okay. It's all right. What camera is that? It's that Logitech X370. X370. Yeah, it's actually a pretty good webcam. That's one I've found so far, anyway. So, that streaming arcade console, I think that's the console. It's the console? I don't know. I think so. Streaming? Or pairing button? What huh. the hell? Huh. Guys, look at that. It actually has a streaming arcade console in it. What the heck is that? Uh, uh, well, I guess we're going to have to learn as we go. Now, the oh. one thing I'm hoping, and I don't know if this will happen, is if the item is able to play against him, and that would be a nice little uh, tackle going on. So if we can go online and play against each other through these things, that right would be there. pretty cool. Would lead me to believe that it probably does, Paul. Where's it's got an, it's got an Ethernet port. Right, it's, it's got, got Bluetooth. Port. It's got Wi-Fi, and it has Ethernet. From what I read, well, um, if it's but got I'm that, not sure that it's online player or that's just to get or firmware updates. Firmware yeah, updates. I know. I was you can buy the same games, thing. right? You can buy games online. Yeah. Oh, okay. um, really? Yep, yep. You can buy oh, games online. Maybe I won't mod this. <laughs> uh, nope, we'll mod this. Oh, look, I found the featured game list. Oh, I'm still on the quick start guide. Anyway, nobody really wants to care about the menu until, no, we, understand, I don't crap about until we understand nothing about it and we have to go to it. Yeah, so and most of these games look okay. I'm opening yeah. again. Let's so do it. I'm going to take, take out the little disky dude. The disky dude. I see dude. it. So, that, oh, 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 oh. Ready, ready, ready. Ooh, that is satisfaction. Best part. Best Look at part. that. You can see the camera up there. Look at that. Woo. Yeah, you can. There it is. <laughs> it's on a special high trolley thing that can go as high as I want it to. It's ridiculous. That's actually really cool. So, so yeah, you got. Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, Landport. Zoom in here a little bit. Hold on. Yeah, Landport, HDMI. Looks really like USB 3.0. This one. Now, why the hell did they put a micro USB instead of a Type C charger on there? That's a great question. That is. So, right here we have, I think that's a pairing button. It looks like a pairing button. Looks like a pairing button. You have your, I'm guessing, power, mm -hmm. USB 3.0, HDMI, because I'm believing this is the part that could possibly go out to the television. And if that's true, then the keyboard or the, the stick probably has a Wi-Fi built. Ah, look at that. The air holes. Those, yeah. Those are drilled air holes. How great is that? At games. It says at games. Really cool. I yeah. like that. Yeah. So and a network. So again, I believe oh, and this looks like it has a ring of light. Uh yeah. I I would believe that. Although I haven't seen a picture of it actually running. Matter of there is no picture of it on here, but okay. Okay. All right. So So we we were wondering. I didn't want to include that in the picture because I had no idea whether we were getting that or not. So that is a five volt two amp power supply. Yep. And guys, that's actually lower than a Raspberry, like considerably. Yeah, I so, believe this is Android based. Nice. That is my belief. It I looks like it's got a pretty long cord here. It's actually it does have a long cord. An actual USB power cord. It's not a USB cable as such. It's an actual power cord. With ground yep. and positive. 
That's kind of yep. Neat. That's exactly what that is. That's pretty cool. Okay. It's interesting that this, that this has got USB 3.0, but that this cord is yeah. only USB 2.0. It, it still could be actually. Uh, you'll notice yeah. a lot of newer USB 3.0s are don't matter. They're white or or blue, right. and some of them are yellow and. Uh, and then you have your short HDMI because I'm gonna guess. Oops, I should. Oh my god! Out because it's so cute. Oh my god, he thinks it's cute. That's like a foot long, dude. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I don't even know if it's a foot long, but anyway, um, yeah. I'm guessing yeah. it's because you're gonna put the product next, next to right the next television, to it. Yeah. which would be this guy. That's exactly right, and that is a straight through USB cable. Right, and and. That's how my 4K cameras run here. That's how my uh, streaming unit that's plugged in right now to my camcorder up there is running that way. I just want to get this box out of here so people oh, don't have to see all switches. this other... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. Wait, yours looks blue. Mine's not blue. It looks blue. Maybe it's the camera or the light, Ooh, right? That oh, is... my God. Mine looks blue, too. That is so satisfying. No, mine looks purple. Look. I wonder if it's my light. Might be. It's probably your light. But anyway, it... let's, let's get All this right, out here of we here. go. I'm just going to get rid of this box. Yeah, let's just get rid of the box. Let's just get rid of it. Hang on. Here we go. Uh, out with the box. This thing is really light. It, it's really light. It actually is kind of light. All right. I, I love me some new toys. Ooh. There's lots of peely offs. Oh boy! Lots of peely offs. Look at that, guys. That is sick. Okay, so, oh, that is so enjoyable. Hey, Paul. Yep. What are the missing holes? Um. That has got to be for mounting. some sort of add-on, guys. Look. Mounting. Mounting of what? Mounting it to a cabinet. Well, if that was the case, you'd have two in the bottom. There's even side stuff here with uh, actual metal contacts. What in the world are those so, for? So, there's something interesting. Do you see this? Yeah, I'm looking at it. Right, and and there's like contacts here. So, it looks like something could... Oh, you know what? I think we're able to connect to each other. Oh, direct connect. That's exactly... I think exactly it might be a direct connect. connect. It's on yep. the other side, too. Yep, it is. That's exactly what that is. So you can add multiple consoles. Okay, I'm just going to show the bottom just to show that there really isn't anything to look at. On the back. Okay, that's interesting. That... Oh, look, at, look at the control bus. That's a funky-looking cable. Right. And then your USB and power. Yep. So 12 volt. This is pretty, pretty interesting. 12 volt. Where is the power for it? Is it in here? Uh... You know what? I don't see the power for it. Hold on. Which means that it is probably not an independent unit, or it's pulling power. I don't see anything in that box. Do you? No. Very, very interesting. All right. That's interesting. That is very interesting. So... Very questionable. Oh! It's got power. Uh, I think it charges through the USB port. Oh, it's rechargeable. Yep. Very, very interesting. So, that makes it portable and mobile. Very portable and mobile. Now, I told my daughters about this, and they're extremely excited because they want to play with this thing. Um, I'm going to do another refreshing thing here and peel that off. The sticker stuff, stickers. Okay, it feels good. It does. The bottom is plastic. It the doesn't feel. Are... It, it doesn't feel cheap. It just feels like a a solid mold. It does have independent switches on each one too. Yeah. And now, Paul, that's an eight gate also. Yeah, I know. I felt so, so that, good. Yeah, that's actually really nice. So you got an eight gate on it too. Now, what is that, a reset button? You're one of these console guys. Uh, wait, this one here? Yeah. I think that brings you back to the App Games menu. Okay, I think that's this... Rewind. That's a Player Rewind. One. What the hell? Ooh, is yours vibrating? Oh! oh dude. I, don't, I, I okay. don't have mine on. Put your hand right there, and then tap the Rewind button. Okay, it's on. 
Mine vibrates when I do that. Maybe mine's not booted up yet. We wouldn't know because we can't see what's going on when we power it up. That's right. We cannot see what's going on. If you guys see that right there, I believe that's a Bluetooth light looking for the transmitter. Lloyd, to answer your question, uh, I'm going to have to look into it and see. I'll bet you underneath these rubber feet, we've got screws. So what I'll probably do is when we do an independent individual review of these, I will take that apart because I it's heavy. And there's got and other than just this board, that plastic has no weight. So I really would like to see what's in there. Absolutely. I'm thinking that most of the hardware is here. I believe, and this is what I believe, that you can hook this up to a Xbox, for example, and use it as a fight stick. You're thinking this is a Raspberry, essentially. And this just happens to be a peripheral that connects to it. Technically, yes, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that, um, that actually makes sense. Yeah, see, right here, it shows the round thing going to the TV and the, to the uh, nothing going to the box whatsoever, which leads me to believe that you can sit back, relax, play from far away. Because if it's Bluetooth connection, you got a good 30, 35 feet. That's says, amazing. Before, before your first use, connect the control top USB charger and charge it completely. Right. And that is this piece here, I believe. Yep. Well, is it? Well, I would think this it is says, the control it top. Says, it says connect the control top. This would be the control top. Oh, okay. We can call that a control top, I guess. This is the yeah. fun part of unboxing something. And That's you know what, right. guys? We will take it apart. But um, I got to say, these buttons feel good. They don't feel cheesy. They feel like switches. Yeah, they actually, actually feel buttons. like they're using arcade components here. Now, on top of that, too, this unit isn't cheap. Um, it's been on sale, and that's the, it caught my attention because GameStop actually emailed me saying, hey, you should get one of these. And I was like, oh, no. So I tried to go to GameStop Canada and buy it, and they don't even exist in Canada. The, the website does not have them. Because now EB Games is GameStop here again. So it's just GameStop. So when I say I bought it at GameStop, that's what's happening now. I just bought it at GameStop. So John looked up his local store and ran out and grabbed two of them. Because the price they went on sale for was absolute ludicrousy. Pretty stupid. It, yeah, because these things were like 150 or 150 off. Something like yep. that. So I think they're like $200. We got them for 50 bucks American. That's right. Americano. Americano. So, uh, the Americanish. <laughs> I, I think I'm not 100%, but I thought I read somewhere. Maybe it's not this. Maybe it's the big arcade that can do that. Uh, but I know the big one. You can actually plug in an Xbox or whatever you wish to plug into it and, you know, go, go and, uh, have some fun. Oh. So the question remains, mm -hmm. do you charge through that USB port or do you charge through the 12-volt port on the back of it? Uh, the USB port, I'm pretty sure, will charge it um, or they would have included the port. I think the power supply is... Are you thinking that the base station charges this? No. Because... No, no. I'm thinking that you could plug it into USB and charge it. So this one so? charger, this one charger can do both of it, is what I believe. Uh, so straight through. Well, here, let me let me see if well, that you is. Well, have the a case. straight through here too, right? So. Yeah, I I can find out real quick. Hold on, because I just happen to have a plug right here. That's a good idea. See, one of us is thinking with our head. That's so right. Let's see. I, I'm absolutely in love here. This thing feels good. It looks good. It's not flimsy. And it has not caught on fire yet. Okay. And, oh yeah. We, we yeah. have a charging light. There you go. So and it says that, here that the yep that makes sense. So I'm guessing once we know that it, we now know it's a five volt whatever, we could literally just get another one of these or get a uh, plug in one just to plug it in. Um, yep. You know if you want to plug, I wouldn't want to plug personally. I want to play wirelessly like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I I agree with you. Oh, right? Is there some sticky stuff around the edges of this? I stuff? know. Like, I want to peel it off too. It's like glue. It's really gross. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, look at that. Oh, yeah, baby. 
<laughs> you guys want to see the satisfaction too? I do. Here. Yes, I'll that's the best like part. That. Oh, look at this. Nothing is more satisfying than the ripping first peel off the peel of the plastic. That's right. And I mean, that's why people watch open boxes. Yeah. Well, and it also, in my opinion, it's kind of one of the parts that actually makes it yours. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now it's all going to get dusty and rusted. And <laughs> well, you get a lot of rusty plastic, do you? Yeah. Because I don't. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> my internals rust. You want it? Yeah. <laughs> You know what's weird? I don't have the plastic on around the edges. That's kind of weird. I have it all the way around, bro. Very interesting. I get more satisfaction than you do. Uh, yeah. Well, bet your wife doesn't. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. I agree. Oh no, you definitely get more action than me. I was gonna say that's what <laughs> she said, but you know. <laughs> All right, let's get All right, I, now I really want to plug this in, Paul. I know we said we weren't going to, but, you know, I really, but I'm not going to, because I said I wouldn't. No, this, <laughs> we're just supposed to talk, chat, have What's some up, fun, and we want to literally, hey, how's it going, buddy? Um, this thing is awesome looking. It's awesome. <laughs> we have no it idea if it's any good, but it is awesome looking. <laughs> Paul won't let me. No Paul problem. won't let me turn it on. Well, you That's not it on. fair. You just didn't get the no, video. I charged it, and it's charging. Other no. than that, I did not. You did turn it on. Tell Polly's mean, and she'll let me turn it on. <laughs> well, rub it a little. Maybe it'll get turned on. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I am rubbing it a little bit, and I'm the one getting turned on. Oh. Okay, so I now want to know. That's weird. So... These two screws apparently must only hold down this Formica because that wouldn't be able to screw in anything into the bottom. So I'm willing to bet these feet. Oh, yeah, I can feel it. Okay, yeah, right here, guys. If you're looking on the camera, there's a screw right there. I can feel it. There is none there. And there's a screw right there. There is none there. There's a screw right there. And I'll bet right there. So you there's, yeah, the one, screws? two, three. You, you can feel the dipple. Put put your finger on the rubber. The dip on the rubber. Put my the, finger the on rubber. the rubber. Don't put a on the rubber. rubber. Yeah, and yeah, you'll be able to feel yeah, it. There's definitely oh. screws there. So we will be disassembling this when I do the full review, which will probably be coming tomorrow if I had to guess. So, um, there's a high chance that I'll be reviewing by tomorrow, just because I want to play it. Well, oh. I, I mean, it, it, even if I'm not reviewing it, I'm sure me and my kids are going to review it. Well, I would, I would, I wouldn't worry too much about it, Paul, because you know I'll, I'll take care of the good review. You can do the follow up. Oh, wow! Oh man, that's just icy. That is disgusting. <laughs> There's so much hate going on here. Yeah, got some goodies coming tomorrow. New power that tools shoot, for the work. New game system. What do you think? No. Buddy? What do you? Think? Absolutely not. <laughs> what do you guys think of this? Honestly, uh, I think it's really cool to be able to just like. Take something new like this and open it up here on the show for you guys. Uh, looking it over. Literally. Like I say, the top is is uh, MDF, I'm going to say. Yeah, um, it is. There is, by the look of it, Plexi on top of it. Mm -hmm. Which I'm hoping that means the sticker is underneath, which it looks well, like it is. I suspect, Paul, that that's what these two screws hold down in place. Yeah, the Plexi. Yep. Uh, I think more than that, though. Because they'd be it well, was kind of flicking, um, but but they don't go through to the bottom, so it's got to be something just on the top down. plate. Yeah, they're definitely yep. a uh, a hold down. But uh, I like this Legend Gamer Mini. Uh, look at the buttons. So you got your X, A, B, and Y, R, B, one. This is what I'm talking about right here, because I'm pretty positive. Now, don't quote me yet until we do the review. But I'm pretty positive that this can work on a console. Well, I can't imagine why it wouldn't. If if this charging port is also an access port, you could plug this into a Raspberry, and it would just to see it as another controller. It is a plug-in for yeah, a product. If 100%. that's the case, yeah. If that's the case, then yes, you could run this on a Raspberry, and it wouldn't care. It would just think it was another controller. So I'm still under the belief. That this is the console. Well, we're I'm, gonna find out real soon. Yeah, I'm really believing that this, and you guys can, uh, if you know anything about it, you can mention it. But 
I'm pretty sure this is the console. This is the system, or the, the stick. This plugs into your TV, and once it's plugged into your TV, these wirelessly connect, and this controls that unit. Which that means is my belief. Blue, that means you could Bluetooth this to any controller that had Bluetooth in. I'm in just theory. trying to see if there's a space for... Hmm. But then there's also the whole... Where would it have extra memory? So, you're able to download new games. Therefore, you must be able to store it. Therefore, I No, question... unless it's flat. You have a flat memory amount, which means I'll bet you got to watch that. But how big can the games be? They're all retro, correct? Uh, I know, I... beat down, yes. shut up. What do you say? Come he on, he John. Wants, he, know, he, he knows, knows I want to plug it in. I do. I, I do want to plug it in. I do, but... I mean, all I have to do is reach right over there and grab that HDMI cable. It's right there. It's just right there. All I literally have to do is unplug the camcorder and literally plug it into the streamer, and it's immediately this. Yeah, the last time he said all I have to do is do this was why the podcast was 30 minutes late. So yeah. let's not do that. Yeah, I, I understand. Um, yeah. But and then that <laughs> damn mic issue was the same issue we had before, and I forgot. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes, that's exactly what happened. So if I were to, like, just accidentally just maybe plug this HDMI in and, and just sort of accidentally plug it into my monitor and, and just, 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 just accidentally turn it on... Um, Video's coming for these guys tomorrow. You're ignoring me. Um, yeah, I'm trying to. Because no, beat down. I want to. It's not a matter of being chicken. He is a chicken, bro. You better be careful. Oh, okay. So it looks like you have to start. You have to set up an at games account. Okay. So when I you go the into it right off the bat, is for yep. uh, getting new stuff and. Streaming arcade console. It says right there, this is the console. Well, there you are. Okay. So, us idiots should have actually... So, you were right control top. I was right console. There you are. All right. So, that's put the bed. Um, what I'm wondering is if there is adequate storage. Is the storage here? Oh. Yeah. I would be willing to bet, and what do you want to bet? You could put a thumb drive in right there and store extra games. I'm guessing a hard drive or, yeah, or, yeah. Yep. Yeah, just makes I'll bet that's exactly what that is, external storage. Just like the Commodore Mini and all these other ones that are coming out so that you can have all your games. I'll bet that's exactly. And that would also explain why that's USB 3.1, because it had to be fast for the games. Right, right. Yep, I'll bet that's exactly what that is. And so although question how powerful this guy is. It, it, because all it says in there is USB port. I guarantee you that's what that's for. Uh, yeah, no, I'm pretty positive these things have been hacked already. Yep, and they will be again. <laughs> and they will be again. Yeah. Uh, pairing button, yep, okay. That is really cool that the stick is wireless. Yep. That is Absolutely. so awesome. All right, well, I will be doing a review on this tomorrow. No way around it. Since it's already out, I'm going to come in early in the morning and shoot the first review. Oh, by the way, guys, since um, Molly McLate to the cast here started us late, we probably won't game tonight. I'm going to game tomorrow. Who's Molly and McLate? Yet, that, that would be you. And we have a new game, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. It's a surprise. I and can it, tell it you. Might, it might be Meat Saw. I don't know yet, but meat. it could. It's a bloody meatball. Look, Beatdown and Daedalus both wanted Meat Saw. And I have been stalling them, so I'm gonna I, I'm gonna have to play some meat saw tomorrow. Featured games: Burger Time, yeah. Bubble Bobble, Battle Shark, Bad Dudes versus Dragons. Okay, oh. but we can't. But what? can we play online together? Well, these are good questions. These are very because good questions. I don't know that. You know how I would know that if I plugged it in and set it up. Safety notice. Do not, and I am going to emphasize, do not. I will Ooh, be skipping it, that show. What show? 
He doesn't want to see Meat Saw. He doesn't. His wife likes the horror games, but he doesn't. Oh. By the way, I need to show you guys if there's any interest in here. Um, I've been playing a lot of that uh, uh, Star Sand, and I completely demolished that giant base I was building. I went over to that pit that had the green smoke coming out of it, and I built a huge base all around that. So if anybody has any interest in seeing what I built over there, let me know, and I'll, I'll do that in a short one too. But okay. it's been a lot a lot of work. <laughs> I, want, I want to get back to my safety notice. And you made this safety notice. It's it very important. Okay. No, it isn't. It is very important. And what? The safety notice says, and I quote, do not put it in water. You know what else it says? Hmm. This equipment complies with Canada radiation exposure limits set forth for an uncontrolled environment. Oh. This equipment should be installed and operated with minimum distance of 20 centimeters between the radiator and your body. You Canadians are weird. Okay. Yeah, you guys in California are stupid. Yeah. Unless anybody here is from California, I'm sorry. Do um, not submerge in water. <laughs> so, hold on. Hold the horsies here. Whoops. Whoopsie, whoopsie, whoopsie. I think I just figured something out. Remember the what? these contacts are on both sides? Yes. So, what if there's a dual stick chassis and a lock down in, and this is the screw downs? Well, did you notice that in the manual, they do not even acknowledge that those ports exist on the side. Right, but I never really paid attention to the dual stick and whether it's two of these in the in the unit or not. I never noticed that. I mean, I guess theoretically, if you had a, a three-point contact, you could screw down to those two screws on the side. Mm -hmm. That's probably what it would be. I'm, I'm guessing but... that this slides into something, hence the counter sink, um, and you can screw it down. And these contacts connect to whatever that is, whether it be a arcade cabinet, whether it would be maybe these are things planned. Maybe I'm jumping a big gun. Confirmed. Um, huh? Confirmed. What's confirmed? Read write USB drive. That's for content. Well, there you go. All right. Yep. Confirmed. Yep. All right. Confirmed. I thought you were confirming what I was just saying. And I, thought so, I thought so too, Jeff. The problem is I've got an Arcade Legends cabinet out here, and it doesn't have anything that even remotely resembles that. Now, this is Bluetooth, yep. so you could you could connect this to the Arcade Legends cabinet because it does accept Bluetooth connections. Right. But it's not. It, it wouldn't be a, a drop-in fit, as it were. So I don't know. I'm willing to believe there is a cabinet for it, and I'm going to do some research. I'll bet there is. I am too, because that is something that would be absolutely phenomenal yep. to find out. I and if really, that's the case, I really those are video know, out. Yeah, I want to, it doesn't talk about these. Oh, wait, if I go back to the... Hold on. Hold on. Maybe we're not paying attention. Well, you're not paying attention. I am. It doesn't talk about the sides. No, it doesn't. It, it doesn't even bring them up. That's my point. It yeah. doesn't even acknowledge they exist. Now, if we open that and something's connected to those, then we okay. automatically know. All right, screw it. What? I'm op I'm opening it. You're gonna open it. I'm gonna open it. All right, we're opening it. Nine one one. You guys are you guys are worth it. I gotta know. So there. He's Hold gotta know. Thought. Get some. So let's get a is, couple of. This is pretty interesting. I gotta say. All right, gotta get us a couple of good tools out here. Hold on a minute. Uh oh. So we have one top side and we have one bottom bottom side. Not as easy when go. I'm doing an overhead camera. That's true. That's extremely true. All right. So what I want to do, <laughs> let's see. That was me. What was you? I just went into the camera like this. Holy shit. That screw is like eight miles down there. Can't even use this. Hold on. Well, yeah, we got screwing. We got to go. This. We got to go to beast mode here. Yeah, we got to go with the. Uh... This episode is brought to you by Be Quiet and Be Quiet's official screwdriver, a screwdriver of quiet. Be Quiet has a screwdriver. Yeah, look, Be Quiet. 
Nice. It's actually the screwdriver of choice. Uh, no. For who? Now, now I'm making this look like a, a, a commercial. Oh, nice. I don't even know if they sell the screwdriver by itself, to be honest. It comes with the uh, Dark Rock Pro or whatever, the, the big $110 cooler that's cooling my editing machine. My only right. air-cooled system. Um, and uh, this screwdriver is needed because it's a very long shaft to screw it down. <laughs> yeah, right? So it's got to go deep. And when you <laughs> want to go deep, visit BeQuietOfficial.com. Boy, you just talk it and talk it and tell us all these good things about it. Right, right. All right, guys. You know what? I want you all to know that you did now. this. You, you you made me open this case. I was going to wait till the review. But instead, we're going to find out right now together what's in this thing. I'm I'm pretty happy about this. I'm happy. Are you really? I'm happy you're doing it. Yes. I know. I know. Because then you won't have to. <laughs> I'll just steal, yeah, I know. I'll just steal your footage. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'm no fool. I know. Yeah, you oh, could here, do that. Here. You guys hear that? I'll right. get you demonetized. All right. I'll, just... I'll demonetize you. I just got another flag today. Yeah, I know. It's because I just posted the video. <laughs> All right. Should have one more. My Yep. Right there. If my oh, little. Making my own pop is the best. Oh, I agree, dude. Soda Stream for the win. Soda Stream. All right, here we this go. This episode is brought to you by Not Soda Stream. Pew, all right, guys. Pew. Let's see if that got them all. All right, it did. here we go. Here we Hold go. that thought. Oh, Hold on, I'm going to be real. top ones out. Uh, no, no, I don't think so. I got to unscrew what I, the ball? I got to make sure that this one's all the way out. I don't think this one's quite. That is a very enjoyable stick. I yeah. like playing with my stick. It is. It is. Like All right. up and down, up and down, up and oh, down. Here we go. Here oh. we go. Oh, here we go. All right, guys, we're gonna do it together. Here we go. We're doing it together. Oh, oh wow. Okay, guys, that's, a that's... Lot more than I expected. Okay, Paul, look here. That's a battery, dude. That's the battery that drives this thing. Wow. Right there. We do have switches. They do look like Competition Pro switches. It is an eight gate, yep. which can be you can remove that if you wanted to to make it smooth flow. Uh, in fact, I do that on raspberries quite a bit. I'll actually pull this gate out so you when you turn it, it doesn't lock in those individual positions. You can have a nice smooth flow to it. Don't let him pull this gate out. Need to pull the gate out, <laughs> guys. This I could modify the shit out of this, but I don't want what to because little B. because this is going to go online, and I kind of like that concept. But everything is built into that. Look how basic that board is, Paul. Yeah, speaking of that board, you can visit manoglobal.com so you can hear him better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Manoglobal.com. Mano, man, mano, mano. There. Mano. There. Mano. I'll turn my mic up so you can hear me. Woo, Are you that happy got now? loud. That all got right. loud. So, but, uh, all right, so these are standard arcade switches guys which i do like that that means that you will be able to modify these and yes. i probably would right off the bat i'm, I'm gonna so light I'm gonna, them up i'm gonna pull one of these out yep it's that that's all that is guys is a standard arcade switch nothing to it um you can change out the buttons too which is great i do like that concept change it to light up light it up i mean if you're gonna play play for real uh, other than that, it's a very basic wiring, man. I mean, there is nothing to this. This is wired up exactly like I would a Raspberry, typically. Or if I was building one of the consoles, this is exactly how I would set it up. Another thing, too, is we could possibly... They cheaped upgrade, out on that common ground. Upgrade that battery. Uh, yeah, maybe so, because I don't see any voltage settings on it or anything else that I, that's noticeable. It is bolted down, but it's also glued in there. It's a lithium-ion. So, yeah, it is, but I have no idea what the voltage is on it. But we will Although, find out. That, that, that duration is what I'm concerned with. How long can you play this thing before well, that dies? It's a single cell, so it's going to be a 3.7 volt if it has anything to do with lithium. So yeah, we already you know, know the voltage at a single cell. And nothing in here is going to pull major voltage. This is where the power is. Right. This is just a controller... Just like Just sending any, the information any, out. Any, any other Raspberry controller. It's exactly the same thing. Exactly. It's just in a bigger version. But this so, has, Now, when it said built-in Wi-Fi, I'm guessing that is 
here only. Yeah, it's uh, there. Built -in Everything's here, Paul. Built-in Bluetooth is here. Yep. But after the, seeing this, is this here. is... Yeah, after seeing this, all that is is a controller card. That's all that is. A standard USB controller card. Right. So, And it says right here... Now, I, I wish I could focus on that, guys. Um, it says trackball. There's a header here to put so four pins up this is for the a same trackball. board yep. as the two... Stick because the two stick uh, has a trackball. You've got a player two key header right here. Yeah, and the arcade. Yep. So if you if you basically if you were to populate those, you could turn this into the two player. You could add a trackball to it. You could add a secondary joystick to it. Um, it's got a spinner a for a four port for a spinner. So really, we must have the cheap ass version. <laughs> um, it also has a 3.3 header here, which would be cool because I could technically mount a fan here to keep this cool, which I don't really think that's going to be an issue, but, uh, no, um, another, yeah. thing, another thing, I mean, there's probably stuff we can 3d print for in there. I'm wondering if there's even mods where stuff gets put in here added, but besides that, before we get into modding, cause we really don't know what we're up against yet. Other than sure. this is a controller. This is a wireless controller. That's all it is. This is your game console. So, yeah. uh, what we've learned here is this is pretty darn cool for the money. Uh, until the review is done, of course, we don't know how it's going to be overall. So, That's right. So, this is where this comes in and the review comes in. And I'm guessing you can use game pads with this as well. But I've noticed if this is an Android box, and if you notice it's curved... So this is going to be something unique. Um, but anyway, if, if it is based on Android or based on, uh, well, based on Android, let's say, I find that I have problems with game pads. I do. Paul, yep. see what I did? What did you did? I had a uh, cooling fan or cooling fins right there. Oh, show off. I have some yes. of those too. Yep, 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 yep. And I... Keys? I would probably go, yeah, I would probably go ahead and add a fan right there, but I don't think that's going to be necessary. But the cooling ribs are always a good thing. So, so all right. So overall, we're happy with the build, right? Very happy with the build. And Very what happy. we didn't talk about was the elephant in the room, and that was the two wires that went to the sides. That's correct. It did have wiring going there. So those are either meant for, let's say. Wait a minute. You saw wire? Yeah. Maybe Hold they're on. sensi touch. Maybe they're. Uh, oh wow, they are. Maybe they're. Uh, uh, this says it's going to antenna. Uh, Pana, panel L R on one, and Pana L B on the other one. So these are. It's a left. It's a buttons. left and right. Yeah, it's a left and right fire something. Pinball. No freaking. You mean a contact switch? Yeah. No freaking way. They're just metal flat switches. I'm guessing pinball. No freaking way. We're going to definitely test that one. No, That's you have the mini badass. version. Well, we know we have the mini version. Put a drone yeah. battery in it and play it for yeah. a day on end. Well, I have yeah, some single cell drone batteries. Yeah. Put a, put a drone, put, put an RC car battery in it, play it for That's, three months. That's right. I have single cell lithium batteries. Just create a Dean plug in setup and you can actually. Plug and unplug it as you want. You can even make a uh, spot where you can remove the battery. I mean, now, <laughs> just so now guys, things. I want you to know I voided this warranty for you. So everybody out there, when this video goes back up live, you know the drill: likes and subscribes, baby. Oh yeah, I didn't even like my own video. That's you didn't. Nor, nor did you play the intro because you were three and a half hours. Oh, late. the intro's right here. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh -huh. Woo! Guys. Everything still works. It's just not the way I wanted it to be. I was going to have it so that I could have a camera coming in from this angle, which is the one you normally see, and that guy up there. And all it was was the touch of a button. Everything was working until we went to go live. True. Everything was functioning. So that just tells me the Threadripper is needed much faster than I expected. Yeah, I could agree with that. Yes. Yes. It Sherry, just... Sherry, Sherry is caring. That's right, Beatdown. That's right. Sharing I... is caring. 
Oh, Don't God. you know? You a nutritious shoot. time. Shoot a now. delicious time. Oh, God, this hurts. When you're playing your arcade with your friends. What did, I do? what did I do to deserve any of this? Oh, there you go. We'll have a singing contest. <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? What, what, what? Oh, man. Oh, so, man. That still does not explain these two holes. And I really want to know what those are for. Now, you see, this is where I'm jumping ahead. So we either have sensor touch on the side. Okay. Or, yeah. now, this might be getting a little more creative on this. So you guys see there's screw holes here. What if they have an add-on screw-on side buttons? Well, I, I, I still kind of like the concept of, of, of the touch. Yeah, there's, it's it's a very cool concept, and don't I just get me don't wrong, think it's, it's possible. possible. I don't think so. But that wouldn't be reliable. They wouldn't have two. They wouldn't have those two screw holes next to it. That's definitely to mount something to the side. Buttons. Yeah, you could legit mount something right there to that. There's a button what? package, or 3D print one, or whatever. There is something definitely 100 percent for that, and I am flipping excited because I've always wanted pinball side buttons always wanted it yeah and, but pinball and... is like the lamest game that have, has ever been made digital pinballs are freaking awesome man digital pinballs those are the worst man real pinball i could kind of get with that but digital yeah it's kind of like having a real girlfriend what uh oh all questionable thing what others enter that the was, driveway that was awkward Paul, yes, Jeff, you... I agree. Be quiet, no singing. Wow. Be kind... quiet. Yeah. S. Was it? Well, SM... Was it? F. F... 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 ASMR. ASMR. Well, Paul, Paul, this will definitely not be one of my raspberries because, you know, well, I say that. It depends on how many games we can get on that external drive. And I'm going to. I'm going to commit one entire gigantic thumb drive to it, and I'm going to see what we can download. But I'm wondering if they charge. Because one thing I don't like is that little statement right there. Discounts. Yes. In other words, now, once you buy it, do you have to buy the games? No, there's games already built in. But? There's a but. Anytime there's a... Oh! There are global leaderboards and league events. So, you, that is pretty maybe, cool. Maybe we can multiply. Maybe we can Pac-Man. I don't, I don't see any. I don't see any games in here you can beat me at. Though. What are you talking about? I'll beat you at any game we play. Oh, dude, you wouldn't have a chance. These are my games. You what play. Are you talking you, about? I'm 49 you, years old. These are yeah, my games. You, you play Fortnite. I play these all the time here. So yeah. Try not to push a girl's buttons. Tetris, That's the truth. Tetris Plus That's... and Tetris Plus 2. Dude, I am so good at Tetris that Russia was thinking about renaming itself John. Ninja, That's how good I am. Ninja Kids, Thunder Fox, Violent uh, Fight. Violent Fight. Isn't no every fight Sp violence? Yeah, I don't know. Space Invaders, Bubble Bobble. Ed, that's a great game. Bubble ball. Why do you have to have bad dudes versus Dragon Ninja? Why can't you just have Dragon Ninja and have bad dudes? Because they were both good games. Well, maybe they take two of them, put them together to make it better. Whatever. <laughs> that even <laughs> rhymed. Um, and I do it all the time because I'm gangster. Gangster. I want to plug it in, but I, but I, but I can't. Paul said no. Well, I mean, you could plug it in, but... Plug it in. Plug That's not going to be a review. I know. I know. I know. But we got to get the review out quick because there's no way I'm going to be able to sit there and stare at this tomorrow. I'm going to let it charge tonight. Oh, the, no. The, we're gonna, I'm going to definitely, uh, me and the kids are going to have a blast with this. Now I figured out what to do with them considering I'm going to be losing my shite. Well, you're home alone with the with the kids, right? Yes. Did you explain what's going on already? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Now, my only question to you that I did not verify is, did you stock up on duct tape? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, you got to get some, man. Yeah. Make a little outfit out of duct tape or Velcro, and then you could just stick them to the wall. <laughs> Dad list. 
<laughs> when you're playing a game and it tells you game over, it's not a good thing. Yeah, that's true. Space oh, Invader Showdown. Oh. Yeah. On, on the on the game thing. So, um, you ever watch uh, ETA Prime? Sometimes. Or or Cinemassacre or any of those kind of guys. They did. I can't remember who it was. One of them did a special on um, uh, games, arcade games that or or console games that were in movies that oh. didn't match up to what you were seeing. Absolutely. Yep. And, and, and like ET. Were, <laughs> well, ET. Uh, uh, one of the ones that stuck out the most to me was War Games. You remember right. in the very be in right. the beginning, he was playing Galaga, and it was just whipping its ass. Then, like one second later, he was dead and like had a high score. <laughs> so, yeah, I thought that was hilarious. Um, but, actually, um, I'm selling war games on eBay, and it's a really nice minty, minty like new copy. Uh, for what PC? Uh, no, it is for. I think it's for the Commodore. Or it might be for Atari. Uh, but when I say Atari, I mean computer. Right. So it's either... Here, I got something to show you. Hold Atari on. computer or... So... Uh, it's in a hard case. That's what's really cool about it. Here Paul is... is a lone parent tonight and has the kids and the dog and the fish and the two cats and the rabbit. Nice. 10% of my collection. I use these to turn them into raspberries. Well, that's not really a collection, then, is it? Well, look at them. Some of them are rougher than others. <laughs> this is a murder. But why, this why don't game... you just 3D print your cartridge? What is yeah, that? Yeah, baby. Othello. Oh, I love that game. Everybody loved that game. Yeah, I loved it on Nintendo. Loved it on there. Oh, love that game. Demons to Diamonds played that for days and days at a time. Let's see here. You know, There's... Fire World, Earth World, and Water yes, World? Yes, I've got all of them. No, because yes. one of yes. them's worth like thousands. Yeah, I know that, and I've got all four of them. And do you remember that they were, they were supposed to be another one that they were going to put out for that competition? But somebody actually won that sword, the goblet, and all that. Hmm. I'm proud because I still have Double Dragon for the Atari, which was the game that pushed the console to its max. Well... That uh, that new that new version of uh oh what was it somebody had just written a version like Mario Brothers for the Atari it was hilarious oh okay no but I'm talking original like legit release yeah Night and Driver I agree dude I love Night Driver and um as as dumb as it sounds I loved E T everybody hated that stupid game but I loved that game I played the hell out of it I don't know like today I probably look back and go ooh that was bad. Ooh. You know another one I really like? Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, and I and, I, and Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th, because yeah. That game was great because you got to play as Jason. Just killing people until you found him. It was hilarious. It was a terrible game, though. But, like, you look at the Nintendo version, or the Commodore version, and they were awesome. And then you go yep. back to the other one, and you're like, wow, that looks terrible. Yeah, but, you know, it, it's weird. You get I get kids in here all the time. And that's what their parents are like. Well, all they ever play is the new games. Strangely enough, it, it, there's got to be some kind of a chemical reaction that happens when they play retro games because they get sucked into it. They forget that the graphics suck. Yes. And they just start going. By the way, Jeff, did you notice the mat that I'm using here? Did you notice that, Jeff? And for those of you who don't know, Jeff gave me that mat. That's right. Yeah, Jeff is a really nice guy. <laughs> yes, he is. He really is. Did, did I not? Uh... Oh. Yep. Oh, just just so you guys are aware, I did get my I did get my uh, brand new Creative Labs 16 card from this wonderful Jeff, and it is sealed. It actually is new, and that that just blows my mind. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know it is for I, sure. I remember the days. When this came out as OEM, this is what this is. This is called an OEM package. And then normally you had a CD to put with it. And they were built, they were uh, OEMs for builders. So you would get a case of them. Or based on how many you bought type thing. Hey, did you just send me what? a dollar? Who, me? Yeah. Oh, 
Why would I send you a dollar? I don't know. It's really weird. Did you get a dollar? I, well, it looks like it. I don't know. What? Well, congratulations! You got a dollar. Woo-hoo-hoo! I got American, so hundred bucks Canadian. <laughs> I'll be able to pay for my kids' shoes now. Dude, Carmageddon was the bomb. I love that game. Oh, yep. Carmageddon! Yeah, yeah. yeah. You Definitely. know the game that I truly got hooked on the worst was uh, Ultima Online, and that was one of the first oh, nice. online games after the internet. I spent a portion of years in that stupid game. Not as many as EverQuest. That one sucked a lot out. But AST computers, they were uh, here, actually, in Markham. Um, I remember them. And uh, then I think it got changed Not. to Daewoo or something, monitors or something like that. So, that, yeah, they didn't last... Well, I mean, it was not Lloyd. And if it hadn't been for Ultima Online, dude, you never would have got into EverQuest, so I don't want to hear it. Ooh. See, I yeah. can't do RPGs. Like I say, the closest to me is... Wait a minute. What? You can play Fortnite. You can play first-person shooters, but you can't play MMORPGs? I can play Titan Quest. I can play maybe Diablo, and that's as far as I get to being a... Diablo's uh, not really an MMORPG. Right, right. You've, so have you ever tried to play games? I mean, not necessarily EverQuest, because unless you're into the graphics, then yeah, you're going to you know, kind of go, what the hell am I looking at? But what about like Dungeons & Dragons Online? That game rocks. No. Uh, I'll tell you, I'll give you an example. There was a game called uh, Spell... Ultima 4, Quest of the Avatar. Spell? That was the Pinnacle for Ultima Bitcoin. I'm trying to see if I could see it over here on my wall. Give me one sec here. Yep, Quest of the Avatar. I still play that occasionally. It's on my retro game system. Yeah, here we go. Cool, Jeff. That's actually, you probably don't know this, Jeff. That's actually how I ended up meeting Lloyd. I was a supervisor at uh, for Earthlink dial-up tech support. He was actually one of my floor techs. Spell Force 2. Yep. That is the closest I think I've ever gotten to RPG. Guys, I vote we get him to play some Dungeons and Dragons online. I don't think it's I free. can do that. It's free. I think you can. I know you can. I have faith in you, Paul. Even if you don't have faith in you, I have faith in you, Paul. Do you Paul. remember this? Uh, yeah. Sin. Yes, I know. That was do you have any awesome do you have any do you have any good games? Like what? I don't know. Keep going. Battle Chess. What? what? Battle, Battle chess? chess, baby. Battle Chess rocked. All right. So we've established that you've never played a good game then. All right. In, in our chat, guys, let's talk MMORPG. Something that he could get into. And anybody that says World of Warcraft gets an immediate ban. Yes. So World of Warcraft, it, I will actually find you, execute you, <laughs> and then execute you again. And Data, that means you. you. Don't and do then it. Drive over you. Yes, EverQuest. Lloyd, if we got him on an EverQuest, like started it with him, we'd have to start at level one because you can go to thirty in like an hour now, and show him how to play the game. You want to play a really cool game? It's really sad that they stopped the online servers for this, but Hellgate London? Ho, 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 ho. This Paul, was a not, game, brah. Paul, they're not scared of you. What, why are they scared? Not You don't scare us? Why? Yeah, because you said you were going to hunt them down and get them. Yeah, I have a BB gun. He might run you over with that broke-down dodge. But, but, no, I would never hit anybody with that. I'll take my stupid SUV down. I don't care about that thing. you got to get that started. Paul, I happen to know for a fact that you don't hit anything in that car except for um, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I that... can just keep grabbing games all night long. Uh, Mount and Blade Bannerlord? Huh. Okay, so if you were to play, because, okay, you only play these shooters. Did you play Duke Nukem and all that when they first came out? Doom, Heretic, played Hexen? the hell out of them. Modded them, played mm-hmm. the hell out of them. Modded, 
put the nudie patch in, played the hell out of them nudie patched. You name it. What about Duke Nukem. What about Heretic and Hexen? Did you ever play those two? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Up your ass or in the back of the head. What's the difference? Yeah. yeah. Did you ever uh did you ever play um uh okay, here's one that I, I, I don't know if you've ever done. Let's go with uh shit not brain frame. 12 gauge, ten gauge, forty five cal. All right, you're not only allowed to use your BB gun. Dude, you don't, you 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 you, you don't get to count needles. <laughs> Ten gauge, twelve gauge. <laughs> wow. Oh, jeez. Um, you ever you ever you ever play a game called Freelancer? Yes, absolutely. Because okay. that was Microsoft's uh, attempt at creating Wing Commander. Yep, that's ex actually it was better than Wing Commander by a long shot. Freelancer was awesome. I don't know if I'm going to agree with that. I do because uh, I played both of them, and I'm a massive Wing Commander fan. Yeah, but the mechanics on Freelancer and the storyline was so deep, and it was really easy to cheat. Just saying. Yeah, there it is. If you guys have never played that game, play that game. It's available everywhere. Good old games has got it. Everybody's got it. As soon as I get my XP system built, it is yep. for this. This is an XP you game. You know we can multiplayer that. Oh, can we? Like, uh, yeah, I think you can do... PCPIP. Uh, right. Now, the other yep. thing with uh, this game, too, it will run on Windows 98, but I found that Windows 98, my system, I'm not sure if it's those caps yet, but it crashed a lot whenever... Like, it would freeze, right? And I would have to reboot the computer. So, I'm blaming the capacitors, because well, technically, okay. this should... Uh, let's see what if, it says if, here. If you're blaming the capacitors, clearly you don't remember Windows 98 because that was a big problem with crashes on it. Oh. And and have you got no, 98 version C? Are you patched all the way up? Uh, FC? No. Uh, well, no. you got to go to C. There's version A, B, and C. When you get to C, that was the last patch, and it was stable. And mm -hmm. then they thought it would be great to release Millennium. Of course, Millennium. That's, that's kick-ass. So this game came out in 2003. Yep. And I still think it's probably one of the best space sims, oh, period. It is. Absolutely. Uh, don't get me wrong. I love my wing commanders, but this was good. Uh, yep. Again, Microsoft uh, wanted to compete with Wing Commander Origin. And back when Wing Commander was actually a real company, uh, not friggin' EA ruining it. And now we got what Citizen Star Citizen. There is no repair for Windows Millennium Edition, Paul. Mistake. No matter how, Jeff, no matter how hard you try, no matter how much you want it, it is hot garbage. <laughs> hot, hot garbage. Run yeah. Windows 2000. Now 2000 was bulletproof. Uh, that was a great operating system, but Millennium was not. And by the way, Millennium Edition was the last non-NTFS uh, operating system. So I think that they learned their lesson got off FAT32 at that point. That's why they did it. XP doesn't support... No, it supports NTFS, but it's not NTFS? It is NTFS, but it supports FAT32. Oh. You can, ru you can run it in FAT, but it's native in NTFS. Right. And that's why XP was so damn good. So, I mean, shit, we've still got computers in the field that we run with XP. They're just, they just work. So, yeah, 2000 was the best by far, at least of that transitionary period. And then, uh, by far, the next best one was Windows 8.1. I'm going to show, what? <laughs> I'm going to show you guys. Yeah, I had to get that response. My recent addition to my, and it's a, an addition. I had it, but I didn't have it like this. As long as it isn't a sucky Halo game. Oh. Oh. The original Halo for the PC. That was uh the 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 um, mechanics on that game were astounding when it mm -hmm. came out. Yep. The whole concept of those super jumps and all that was something that nobody had done. So <laughs> You've been yep. playing Nintendo sixty four on your old phone. How about playing it on a computer or something so you get a little more horsey power? <laughs> yeah, I agree. You can get. Uh, USB, I think I have them here. USB Nintendo controllers, the N64 controllers. Of course um, you can. 
I have GameCube ones, I have N64 ones, and so on for the time when I decide that I'm finally going to yeah. make my uh, emulation unit out in the game room. Fully, yeah, Jeff, it's room. funny you should say that, dude, because I did the same thing. I actually, on my game system that I build, I put Windows 3.1, a full, a full load of 3.1, and it works. It, I don't know why, and one person out of a thousand would ever even launch it. But what it really that? is bad. Three one one on what? On one of the raspberries. Oh, okay, okay. Yep, using DOSBox, and it was amazing. Give me one second. Amazing. I'm going to show you something cool I just picked up, and it will be a video soon. Just one second. It, it will be a video soon. It will be. Just hold on. Oh, oh, you put his ears down. We can talk smack. Quick, everybody talk smack. Everybody talk about how 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 Paul's games are lame. We like good games. Come on. Consoles suck. Let's hear it. Come on. Come on. Who's going to be the first to say consoles suck? Don't make me break out the dirty console peasant. I will. There it is. That's right. PC Gaming Master Race and dirty console peasant. <laughs> what are you trying to show people? Nothing. What did I, I tell didn't you? do it. What did I tell I, you I, about showing people weird stuff? I didn't do anything. You got no proof. They were all, hey, Paul, they were all saying consoles suck. I was trying to defend you. Oh, this isn't a console. Yeah, I know, but, you know. See, look, 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 look at Lloyd, look, look. That is an old crap top. Yep. Uh, this is. Dude, I got way better than that. Hold on. Are, are we having a laptop competition? Who's got the coolest one? No. I like this competition. Yes, let's do it. No. All right. No, yes, we're, no, we're doing it. No. Yes, so y'all are voting. I picked it up for fourteen ninety nine the other day okay. at the All Value right. Village. Value and Village. it's a gamble. But there's one little problem I have with this. And that is, I don't think I have the stupid rectangular uh, power thing that they use. Anymore. I've got one. I think I've got one. Yeah, I need that to, to even try. And, oops, I turned this on. Um, anyway, I'm going to move this for a second because you got to see the condition. That is the key. All right, guys, here we go. This is our laptop competition. Everybody get your votes in here. Here we go. So I'm going to turn it this way, I guess. All right, wh while he's showing you, I'll be right back. Okay. What operating system was on this? Oh, wow. No license. Woohoohoohoo! <laughs> No license. That is the best. Yeah. So this is the old, you know, uh, pull-out battery uh, thing here. I believe... What the hell? That's the hard drive? Then what's that? Oh, RAM. That would be RAM. And then, of course, you could pull out your CD drive. I remember those days of this. Now, this thing is a Pentium 2. I wish it was older. But it's a Pentium 2. What I wanted to see, and the reason why I picked it up real fast, it was $14. Whether it works or not, it's still pretty cool. And look at the condition. Like, seriously. I have not cleaned it. You guys just see me take the stickers off. I've done nothing with it. Look at how clean and unused that looks. Awesome. Like, like look at this. All right, and it's a Pentium 2? It is a Pentium 2. Now, that disgusts me a little because I, I would love it to be like a a K6 or a K, you know, something right. like that more, but it is what it is, and right. it's designed for Windows XP and has no license sticker on it. Okay, is it? Okay, that's very good. Power. That's very good. Power. Now, pa it is, it my power! Turn? is it my turn? You got a freaking cool Commodore one or something. You ready? Check this yeah. out. This was, this was mine in high school. That is a Commodore branded laptop. So would that be a four eighty six? It is a it is a late three eighty six, okay. and it actually runs Windows three point one. Now tell me that that is not amazing. It is. Don't get me wrong, because one, it's a Commodore. <laughs> yes, but, it is. But. Is are you keeping up condition is this are you keeping up with the commodore because the commodore is keeping up with you <laughs> i remember that <laughs> i want a modern pc build in an ibm tower 
with USB IBM Aptivia case. Absolutely not hard to do at all. No, it isn't. You do have to cut out the I.O. on the back, though. Uh, cut out the I.O. because I think they're built in. You're right. Yep. Um, the other thing that you may have to... But then you can 3D print a, a, a piece. Or if you right. cut it right, you can put the thing back in. The other thing, too, is you could possibly... Uh, you're going to... It's hard... On the inside, you may have to remove the cage, which is usually just rivet, riveted in. I pop, drill out the rivets, pull the cage out, and I find it's because video cards and stuff don't fit very well in those old cases unless you get rid of it. Depending on how big the case is. You get one of the old servers, you're good. Yeah, I want an old white tower. Like the old white towers. That's what I'd like to have. Oops. You bought a 3D printer? What'd you buy, Jeff? Yeah, dude, check it out. He bought read the that. ANET. Ready? I want you to re read this, Paul. You'll get a kick out of this. Hang on. All right, I got to look at my big screen. Hold on. C386SXLT. That's the light <laughs> edition. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? I love this thing. It's definitely my favorite. <laughs> I wish I had a Commodore PC. I wanted one when I was a kid. Couldn't get one. Uh, I really, really wish that that would uh, come across my way. Um, what's this? Acrylic Mega Pro with laser engraver attachment. Oh, that's freaking cool. Never heard of the printer, but that's freaking cool. Any cubic Mega Pro? Well, I've heard of any cubics, but I like that attachment that's that's cool yeah yeah i know that is cool i've been thinking about getting a little laser engraver out here i just got to figure out if i've actually got a market for it that's the problem yeah and and you can get laser engravers pretty decent for pretty cheap prices now that's true it's very right? true it's, uh it's not as All right. uh, demanded so since we're moving the competition to next week paul <laughs> rerun the details Okay, guys, I don't think you guys got it right. And it was partially my fault. Um, well, the other part, too, is everybody watched my show. Everybody, or watched the show. Whoa, did that just get all blurred? Yeah, it did. It yes, zoomed. it did. Well, they watched your show. Only four people watched mine, but okay. But the bottom line is it's not complicated. You just say what was on my shirt down below, okay? This is not competent, or it is competition. It's not complete, accomplished. It's not comp. Shut up. No, that's me. I'm talking to. <laughs> okay, so guys, beatdown finally did it today, I think, or yesterday. Can't remember. But Dadalus did it immediately, and I was thinking to myself, "Oh my God! If I run this today, Dadalus wins again." <laughs> Yeah, we ought to just put Daedalus on the friggin' payroll. Right. I mean, Daedalus, you're going to have to start working for us and do our monetizing and uh, uh, social media and... Uh, oh, wait, you don't want to computer. I know. I know. D Actually, I did it last week, but it was private. <laughs> isn't it Daedalus that doesn't own a computer? Well, with all the crap we've been getting, you know, I don't know. Daedalus, do you own a computer? Was it you that said you don't own a computer? It wasn't Beatdown, right? Maybe it was Beatdown. So, we're talking about the Atari cases that I make the raspberries out of, right? Yep. My daughter made this one for me last week. Oh, that's cool. See how it says Pytari on the bottom? Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I call I call them the Pytari Minis. Pytari Mini. So, yep. the, you put a pie in it. That's what you're doing. I put a, I, I put a, I put a Pi Zero in here. I, or In this case, a Zero 2W if I can actually purchase them. Okay, because yeah. you're just using them for Atari. Yeah, no, I use them for everything, but oh. they, uh, but you know, you can actually. I've managed to effectively get several Nintendo 64 games running on a uh, uh, Pi Zero 2W. Hey, there's no square root of nothing. I would have failed. I don't own a phone. I have several computers. Okay. Well, then you're I gonna have that. a hard time phoning home. Whoa. The bleep. Wow, that was weird. 
It's still weird. It's fixed now. <laughs> wow. What? When it snows, it snows. That's right. I got a right. PC. I thought he said I got a pick. I'm like, nobody That's... wants to see the pick. I was going to say, it be, we get that mod thing going over here. Um, guys, We're gonna, incidentally, since we got started late tonight, we'll be doing the game tomorrow. So I'll be playing tomorrow. Uh, after I drop, well, and then afterwards, I'm going to drop the Legends video. So, Dude, I bought a Dell. God. Back when Dell was actually good. I think everybody's had a Dell. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Poor Dell. Hey, look, it even came with. But missing the cables. Scuzzy! 33.6 modem! What? Ooh, that I got is some of those. Cool. I got some of those up there. <laughs> that is cool. I think I actually have a 14.4 up here somewhere. Oops, can't put it in backwards. Oh, wait a minute. There's the telephone jack right there. Remember that? Yeah. 56K, baby. 50, yep, nope, 33.6, bro. 33.6, baby. 33.6, Dude, I, man. I never forget when I had that Commodore VIC-20 and, and the dial-up speed, the best you could get was 300 baud. And I remember when I got the Commodore 64 and I got my first 600 baud, I thought I was badass, and my friend went and bought a 1200 baud, which, of course, at the time was $300. It was as much as the freaking Commodore. Oops, but I, ha I had to have it. So I buy this thing. Well, my dad bought it for me. And uh, I jump on CompuServe. I don't know if any of you guys remember that service. Yep. Yeah, well, 30 days later, when he got his $450 bill, he was not amused. <laughs> this thing has USB. It has, I think, a SCSI slash docking station thingy. It has serial port. VGA out. And I think that might be... Oh, it's keyboard or mouse. And a printer parallel port. Huh? Maybe. Gotta what? have some parallel. And that, buddy, is USB 9.6. 9.6. <laughs> They haven't even invented it yet. Right? I, I think oh, there, was there a door on this before? I think there was a door. Oh. I there it is. There's one There of them. it is. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Yeah, just go. You just throw that away. Come on. No, come on. Oh, 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 oh. This, uh, I think we ought to give it to Daedalus. Give what to Daedalus? That laptop. Oh. <laughs> and oh. your and your and your Legends Gamer Mini. I think I you kind of went a little further out than I was supposed to. I oh, think wait, I should wait, keep wait, wait, mine, wait. and you should give yours to Daedalus. Um, I don't understand why I have to be the one that gives away all my stuff. No, Jeff. Less than the parallel printer port, the serial port. You know, there's still uses for serial ports these days. If you're configuring switches and stuff, you've got to have them. You know what? Uh, we can laugh, but if I put XP on this, and anybody that has those vending machines or gas pumps, the older ones... They have to have this. Oh, I know. It without that, and it can't use those USB crappy ones. It yep, has I agree. To be these. Um, so I mean, I get calls sometimes looking for like an i5, which I believe HP still did it for a while. Um, so that's you know, it's not uncommon at all. I don't understand. We're gonna call this the last game hunter breaks a laptop. I think I effed up this piece. I'll figure it for out. I'll for all out. your destructive needs. I'll figure it out, okay? Maybe I'll blow it, this damn thing up on video. And it's get wonderful. AMD. It's wonderful as long as you look at it from just the right angle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking, though, Pentium 2, guys, what would you put back on? Would you put the XP back on? Or would Windows you put, 2000. Or would you put Windows 98 back on? I'd, I'd put 2000 on it. 2000? I'd put 2000 on it. I gotta see it's going to write a copy of 2000. It's going to run great with 2000, and it, and it won't crash on you. And you can still run all that 98 software. Well, yeah, I'm thinking about something to, uh, like, technically, I don't know how much I would do on it, but like a portable Jeff, gaming, X, uh, Jeff, 98 gaming machine. Paul, Jeff's a troublemaker. Jeff's a troublemaker. Yeah. Paul broke it live. Yeah, yeah, I did. I, and, I then got, he said, and then he said to put Millennium on there. I, <laughs> I might. You broke the back. You may as well break the rest. <laughs> right? I might as well break the mold. Um, yeah, that's interesting. But okay. But anyway, I will. I will fix it. I, I'm, I'm it not is. that destructive. Yeah, I'm. I'm okay. But I am. Ninety-eight. If you guys ever come across an old compact 
and I'm going to say compact, the black compact with the nice bubbly speakers down here, okay, with the AMD processor in it. I don't care if it's a K5 uh, or, or older, like a, a 486 style or whatever. Please let me know. The last game breaker. Damn. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Damn shoot it. Shoot the laptop. Come on, dude. He wants me to shoot the laptop. I can shoot it. You could, I, actually. I blur yeah. it out again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm zoomed. And Probably. And sometimes looks at that as a, yeah. a weird thing. So, guys, look. There's my thing that controls this whole show. When I press this, woo! Woo! Sorry. Well, it's, carried away. it's still charging. Uh, no fire. So, yeah, if you guys ever come across a uh, let me know, I'll, I'll try and pay for it. Um, and I say try very, very loosely. No, <laughs> but anyway, this is uh, yeah, no a kidding, cool find. Jeff. It feels good. The keys aren't worn out. I don't even see oil uh, from fingers. This is in really good condition. The clicks are good. I, I had no choice. I had no choice. I'm like, for $15, oh. this is a vintage laptop. You did have a choice. Oh, well, yeah, I did. I you did. said that's got that square connector, right? Yeah, the, you know, that. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Hang on. Looks like a house. You talk to them. I'll be right back. Looks like a, a barn. <laughs> Paul's camera took his meds. Yeah, I know, right? Damn thing. Look at this. I could do all kinds of weird, cool live building now. Woo! And that reminds me. I uh, keep saying it, but shit just keeps hitting me in different ways and putting me backwards, but... I do need to get my Threadripper built because I actually need it now. And uh, I got to get focused. So, trash talk about John. Yeah, John's a... Uh, uh, I think you can hear me. His headphones are wireless. So, if I trash talk him, he's going to know. I'm pretty sure of it. But what a loser, eh? <laughs> Oh my god, I never met somebody so dumb, like technically stupid, you know? Just unbelievable. Unbelievable, I can't believe it, you know? Always copying everything I do, you know, because you can't, you know, do anything without copying, right? I mean, that's just, you know, realistic. Uh, oh. How many pens is in that thing? Uh, this one has... Three. Oh boy. <sighs> yeah, that's it. The house. I call it the house. There it is. There's your charger. See, see, see. The house. The house. So I, 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 I take it now. You you want me to mail that to you? <laughs> <laughs> um, we still got to talk about that computer case, uh, that system. Um, I could do up a, a shipping label, and uh, because uh, I. From what I've seen, you paid the ship up the Legends Mini. Oh my God! I and know. that was American. I know. You know what it cost yeah. me to ship to you? What? Twenty three Canadian. Yeah, but the that board that system is a lot smaller than this thing. This was a big one. Um. Well, it's a bit a bit bigger box. Yeah. Uh, or not a bit it's... bigger. Your box definitely was bigger, but um, I put a couple other things in it, and um. The thing is... Better not be any stickers. I shipped UPS, not Canada Post or USPS. Right, right. Plus well, and I, and I get that. I understand, yeah, but still. But because I'm also an e-shipper uh, client, um, yep. I, get very, I get the dirtiest cheap rates. Well, and, and typically speaking, the uh, um, USPS is not the worst for shipping, I should have gone through UPS now that I think about it because I could have used our corporate account. It might have been a lot cheaper. But I won't make that mistake again. Now, guys. Uh, yeah, pirate ship for sure. Uh, yeah, so all you need to do is put whatever you can in that box, right? And uh, tell me the dimensions and weight, and I will email you a label. Okay, I'll that's, do that. That's all uh, we need to do. If we do that, I can go ahead and get your cup shipped up to you and a couple other things too, so that'll work out. Oh, my God. No. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. See, guys? So. He bought me a cup and never delivered. That's right. <laughs> but...
He's Paul, a, I'm gonna have to wrap a, it up, brother. I do because too. I, I, have to, I have to get to my kids. I have you to need to kids. because the duct tape thing only works for so long. They do need water. Yeah, uh, one of them is um, hanging. Um, yes. So it's not so good. Uh, That's but true. Th here's the intro again. Woo! Intro, outro. Intro, outro. Yeah, baby. Okay, guys. Oh, I see what does it. The camera goes out of focus when I switch back to it, and then it focuses in. Did you guys see that? I figured it out. Yes, we did. All right. So anyway, guys, uh, thank you for watching and, uh, you know, being here uh, with us late people. We apologize. Yes, I'm going to do something here that stops the show. <laughs> Yep. And, uh, you know, please like, share, subscribe, tell all your friends, your girlfriends, your mother, your sister, your brother, your cat, your dog. Or make accounts for your cat and dog, damn it. And uh, get them to subscribe and like the show. One of the two. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'm sorry we were late. I'm sorry about all the problems. I'm having enough issues myself. And then every time I go to do something else, <laughs> things got to happen. That's so, all right. Yeah. So, guys, till next time. Thank you for watching. Game over.